we had an end of slavery and then we had uh, we had folks brought into prisons and in, and engaging in labor and we've seen a long history in this country of the utilization of prison labor to perform um, impor important perform jobs at very minimal pay. Currently at the GEO Detention Center here in Aurora, um, there is a lawsuit against the GEO Corporation because they pay inmates a dollar a day uh, for working in the facility and in, in fact maintain and run it uh, through that labor. Um, and people do things ranging from landscaping to cleaning the bathrooms to serving food to even some clerical work and again get paid a dollar a day. And this is a class action lawsuit to require that folks are paid at least the minimum wage and get back pay and to stop this kind of exploitation. There also though, are cases in the geo detention facility we hear where people are just actually do work for treats in the commissary. And I think wait, 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 wait. They're working for treats like dogs? So yeah, they're basic treats. They're, they're working for things like toothpaste and soap um, a, a tube of toothpaste will cost $3.50. If you're working, it'll take you basically four days to pay for it. If you are given that for, you know, you may be given something from the commissary. For example, the, the conditions in the detention center are kept very cold, and there are lots of re upper respiratory problems, and inmates can buy a shirt for around $8 in the commissary.